Hey there guys, Nick Clark here, welcome to Focus Fitness Trends today's day we're doing my, my new bodyweight evolution video, okay, and this time we're hitting the inner thigh. Okay, now we've done the Bulgarian split squat, okay, which focused obviously on the front of the thigh and obviously the posterior chain, which is the back, okay, um, but obviously this time, like I say, we're hitting the inner thigh, okay, which you get the muscles you can be working are obviously your adductors, which is ADD, so the adductors, your vastus lateris and your vastus medialis, okay, so they're going to be the main muscles you're working, okay, you are going to get some secondary muscles in there, like obviously your glutes. Okay, um, your hamstrings and your hip flexors as well uh, when you're on the way back up or if you're rising yourself up. Okay, and the quad will contract mainly obviously the inner part of the, the uh, quad and obviously the inner thigh because of the way you are actually doing the exercise. Okay, so like I say, you get some secondary muscle working in there, but obviously main focus on the inner thigh. Okay, but obviously now a lot of people find that they tend to find uh, doing sort of. Uh, Basically, exercises for the inner thigh um, are rather difficult because some people don't know how to do them or don't know what to do. Okay, and it's usually basically a lot of reduction across the body. Okay, so a bit like with the chest when you're working in the chest. Okay, you have to duck the arm across the body. Okay, or if your arms are fixed, you turn the body away from the fixed arms, and that activates the inner chest. Okay, that will get get those fibers working. Okay. <coughs> Uh, and the same with the leg, obviously, it has to go across the body, okay, for those muscles to activate. Okay, so obviously I'm going to give you uh, two, sort of three different versions, basically, of this exercise, of and um, put little tweaks in it, so obviously you can make go from easy, medium, and hard. Okay, and then you can see which ones you want to try out. Okay, um, <clears throat> okay, so. Basically, you need to know how to execute the, the uh, exercise properly first, okay? So, before we get into the obviously uh, different versions, okay, what you do is you stand there with you normally, or like if you're in a sort of fighting stance, okay? Depends how you feel comfortable, okay? And then you would step across, okay? Go down and up and back, okay? So, across, down, back and up. Okay, make sure you keep that nice and straight when you go down as well. Okay, so don't hunch over. Make sure that obviously you do it on the other side as well. Okay, because you're normally doing it sort of like an imbalance where obviously one side is stronger than the other. You might may find that as well that one side is actually stronger than the other. Okay, but so you want to make sure that you keep them sort of level. Okay. Now, obviously, if you do have balance problems, like right? Or not very good with your balance, okay. But you want to do this exercise, okay. Then I suggest that you hold your door frame, a door, a wall, okay, or within the table, okay. Whatever's really to hand, okay. You just hold on or so, sort of, just for even if it's just a slight touch, okay. You step across and then you go down and then back up, like so, okay. Obviously, so make sure you touch the table, okay. Or if you need to balance, step across, back down, up, and back. Okay, that's if you need to hold on to something, okay, uh, to sort of help with your balance. Okay, so that, that obviously that would be the easy version. Also, a little note if you've got any knee problems, it's probably best not to do this one, okay, uh, because if you've got um, really bad knees, okay, I wouldn't suggest doing this one, okay, because it is a lot of. Uh, sort of bending for the knee, okay. I mean, if you're not too bad, obviously, then obviously go for it. If you, if you just need a general knee strap and that, but if you've got some major knee problems, then I would avoid this one completely, okay. Um, obviously, depending on sort of the severity of what is uh, wrong with your knee, okay. Um, if it's just limited range of motion, again, not for would wouldn't say you're too keen to be doing this one. Okay, try and find alternative exercises uh, that work the muscle. Okay. Uh, but moving on to intermediate version, okay, is obviously just the general cross squat. Okay, uh, you want to make sure that okay, you're doing it um, lovely on each side, like I said before, but again, you cross, down, back up, and cross, cross, down, back up. Back. And again, the other side, cross, down, up, back, 
Oof. Damn. Oh. Come back. Okay. Make sure that obviously when you're in that position and you come up, okay, you really sort of engage the glutes, okay, and the hip flexors, get that full sort of hip extension, okay? So you want to make sure that you're engaging those muscles properly and then step back, okay? And um, also your hands can be wherever they, they feel comfortable, whether it's on your thighs, sort of, or sorry, hips, obviously across your chest or in the air. You don't want them on your thighs, okay? Obviously because doing that, this and that, that's going to take the weight off, obviously that's going to sort of, it's cheating, and you're not going to be doing it sort of properly, okay? Plus you're going to be in a bad posture, okay? We don't want bad posture, do we? Okay? <clears throat> now that is was the intermediate version, just a general exercise, okay? That's it, it can be done with weights if you are training with weights in the gym, okay? But like I say, you can overload these muscles with just body weight by putting your own tweaks in, okay? And this is what we're going to do with the last version, okay? The hard version, okay? So if you really want to make it hard for yourself, you want to get some definite muscle building and bulk in there, okay, with a power of strength, okay, then you would obviously add a one and a half rep in, okay, so step across, go down, come up half, back down, and then up, okay, it's a nice smooth motion, okay, across, down, up half, back down, up, and step back, okay, again, do on the other side, Going down, bump, half, down, up, and back. Okay. But make sure also your back knee, whichever knee is the back knee, okay, like this, does not touch the floor, okay? It should not be touching the floor at all, okay? So as long as there's a little bit of gap with some of your knee in the floor, then you're doing it fine. Okay, you're doing it the correct way. Okay, and we'll make sure that's saying, but you keep your back straight as well. Okay, so off we go across, down, there's no need for me to lean forward. Okay, or lean too far back or to the sides. Okay, just stay up straight. Okay, come back up, like so. Okay, so off we, that is your hard version. Okay, now if you want to make it really hard, you can use the slow mode version where you go up for like say four seconds and down for four seconds or increase it to eight seconds going up eight seconds down okay uh really depends you down and up obviously uh which one you want to do okay or if you want to implement them into different sets okay so if you're doing sort of three sets okay you can obviously implement the one half reps in one or for your slow mo training in the other and obviously normal training in your other set as well Okay, and that way you get obviously sort of a mixture of the three, okay, out of one workout. Okay, but like I said, obviously, this is obviously uh, that is obviously working in FI, okay, um, or like I say, that's where the main focus is. Um, <coughs> but obviously, that is basically the adductor bodyweight evolution video in the books, okay? Anyway, I hope you um, obviously did enjoy the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and a like. Obviously, um, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, as well as uh, Google Plus, and here on YouTube, the Focus Fitness channel, okay? Make sure you hit that subscribe button down the bottom, okay? Obviously, in the link below, obviously, because that way you can follow us every single step of the way and never miss a video, post a video posted on this channel, okay? Also, if you think it's going to help your friends or your family out, or, or, or just a general person that you know, okay, then get them involved. Get them to watch the video, okay, if it's going to help with their leg training, okay? Uh, especially because what we're going to do on leg day, we're going to do leg day. We're going to make sure we do leg day, okay? Aren't we? <laughs> okay? Make sure you do leg day. Um, but yeah, obviously, if you think it can help somebody out, obviously get them to sort of look at the video, watch the video, okay? Obviously, and hopefully it will help them out. Um, <clears throat> obviously, if you just tuned into the channel or last sort of week or so, obviously I'm going to be sticking a link up here very soon, okay, for all my, for one or two of my past videos, okay, so obviously you can sort of check those out as well. Obviously, we should, should recommend all of them and recommend this one as well. But like I said, obviously, um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Obviously, if you did, obviously, like I said, give it a thumbs up and a like. Obviously, leave your comments as well if you've got any comments on sort of what videos you want to see. If you want to see more videos on bodyweight evolution on legs or arms or 
chest or back or whatever it is then let me know or if you want to see more like nutritional videos or other videos or more talky videos or or a certain muscle for how, how it works and anatomy videos as well obviously then let me know in the comments send them in obviously and i'll try and get those covered in the days and the weeks ahead uh, but like i said obviously we're sticking a link up here very soon for our other videos obviously also sticking a link up here for my subscribe button okay so make sure you click on that one as well or if you'd like to say subscribe to the channel or if you, um and i will see you guys in a few days with my new video okay cheers bye